got you into the culture of movies, films, and comics? Well, I, pop culture, it's one of those things that I was doing anyway. Um, when I was an undergrad, I kept avoiding this class. It, it's not like I didn't like it, it's just I, it would never fit in my schedule. And everybody kept saying, oh, take it, take it, take it, take it. And I finally got into it, and it was there. It was the intro level radio television film class, and I just fell in love with the material. Uh, the professor that taught it, Dr. Sherry Parks, has always been a mentor to me, and she always jokes about the time that I went into her office and said, "You do this for a living? I want to do this for a living," because uh, I was already doing it. I was always talking about television shows. I was always talking about comic books. I was always talking about movies. I was always talking about video games. Uh, I just thought it'd be great to find a way to actually get to do it for a living. Uh, and, uh, wow, it worked out. <laughs> um, I was originally a physics major, and when I switched in college, I was very nervous about this. I was very nervous about trying to convince my mother um, that I was doing a good thing. And when I told her, you know, I had this whole big plan and the speech all laid out and wait, waited for this beautiful sunny day at the beach to kind of explain all this to her. And when I told her, uh, Mom paused and she said, well, we put you in front of the television when you were two weeks old because it was the only thing that would quiet you down and you've been there ever since. So I've always been there. It, it's really just been a lifelong passion. Um, with your column every week, how do you get ideas to do, like every week, that's a big commitment right there. Like how do you get the ideas for it? How do I get ideas? I don't know. <laughs> is that terrible? Um, yeah, there it is. I don't know. The world's shortest video. Um, it, it, it's such a strange process. Um, wh what seems to happen is the ones that I write under deadline panic, like, oh no, I don't have an idea and the deadline's tomorrow, or oh no, I don't have an idea and the deadline yesterday, uh, end up being funnier than the ones that I planned and worked on. Um, so I would love to sit here and pretend that I'm a very disciplined writer and I have this process, um, but it's really just sort of something that happens. Uh, it's like some weeks there's an anniversary or there's something to react to um, and that really makes the writing process very straightforward. We are finally in this era where being nerdy is not a terrible thing. Um, superheroes, it's amazing. It's amazing how this has gone in my lifetime from being something that People treated like you were supposed to stop when you reached a certain age. Like, oh, you're still reading comic books? Well, there's something defective with you. You know, aren't, I'm sorry, aren't you an adult? Um, and it's really shifted into being uh, a hobby that people are interested in. It's still got a little stigma to it, and that's fine. Um, but this incredible success, uh, superheroes are just one example, but a great example, where just boom, 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 boom. The Avengers is the third highest money-making film ever. Um, that doesn't surprise anybody that's grown up reading the Avengers, right? You know, and that doesn't surprise anybody that knows Joss Whedon as a producer. And so here's this, you know, this great producer that we knew got this great product that we knew, and boom, they came together. And you feel really vindicated, uh, and you feel very excited. But uh, you know, for, <laughs> lately there's been a lot of Avengers and a lot of successes, and that means we forget like the Daredevils, right? <laughs> or uh, which I liked, I still liked it anyway. But, uh, or, or really bad things in the past, you know, like that awful Captain America movie from the 90s. Um, luckily for us, there have been more successes lately, and this idea of the superhero has really reached mainstream. It also has something to do with post-9-11. I'm not going to say that, that that's the direct cause, but after 9-11, I think people just got interested in a more direct idea of heroism. Um, and what's really nice about superheroes is they live in a world where the morality is, is fairly clear. Uh, that's not to say that there aren't shades of gray and there aren't really good stories that are all about, you know, what should you do and how should you handle this. Um, but there's a, there's a clarity there that we don't always have in the real world. Um, so, you know, Batman can catch the Joker in a couple of issues. You know, look how long it took to catch Bin Laden. Uh, people like that kind of feeling and that notion of justice and we became, post 9-11, became more interested in heroes anyway. Real heroes, so it's not surprising that fictional superheroes popped up there as well. Um, popular culture always runs in cycles. Uh, this superhero thing, uh, I've been messing around with a little bit of research on it, I've got to go back and refocus myself. But last decade was really big. You know, from 2000 to 2009, we had, depending upon how you count it, 
35 to 38 superhero movies, almost all of which made the cost of production back or a lot more. So it's, it's, it's a great time to be making these things. You know, eventually there's going to be a flop and the whole bubble will burst. But right now, uh, things seem to be going pretty well. And every time you think it's about to run out, something like the Avengers happens and it reignites the whole craze. You know, this summer we had the Avengers, Spider-Man, and the final Batman film. Uh, you know, the Avengers, I, th I think we kind of knew it was going to be a big hit. Everybody was worried about Spider-Man as a reboot. People seem to have accepted that. Everybody's worried about the end of Batman. People seem to have accepted that. Um, so this genre, you know, is here to stay, um, and it's always been in other places, you know, it's always been in the comics, it's always been in kids' cartoons, it's, uh, you know, it's all over the place. I don't see it going away, so it's something will take its place eventually. Uh, what that'll be, I don't know, if I knew, I'd, I'd be out in Hollywood filming it, wouldn't I? <laughs>